Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Welcome to the course 170, Introductory Physical Chemistry. And before ex uh, explaining the course, I would like to brief myself. This is my uh, brief introduction. I did my PhD and then uh, two postdoctorate from one from Brazil and another from Indonesia. I have more than 20 years professional experience, including uh, University of Karachi, PCSIR, PCST, GC University Lahore, and currently working at uh, Foreman Christian College, a chartered university Lahore. Beside this, I have also been active in some of the administ administrative posts, and uh, uh, which are mentioned over here. I received many uh, national and the international awards, which are mentioned over here. This is my research profile highlighting the, the research papers, my publications, citations, H index, and uh, 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 my keynote or invited speakers at different conferences. I have visited around uh, 25 countries around the globe and uh, these are the so far I have supervised my MPhil and the research MPhil and PhD research thesis. I have won uh, many uh, research grants which are mentioned over here. Currently, I am working with the two industrial projects. And beside this, I have uh, seven US patents on the different inventions related to the nanotechnology or the nanomaterials. Now, coming to the course outline, what you are going to learn throughout this semester. This is the uh, four credit hour course, which is the introductory physical chemistry. Uh, these are the uh, course content and uh, uh, Actually, these are available in the catalog, which uh, will cover the uh, main four core concepts of chemistry, which is the first one is the chemical kinetics, physical states of the matter and their properties, chemical thermodynamics and the thermochemistry and the quantum chemistry. So here, uh, different learning goals are mentioned and uh, uh, I will make this course as attractive so that you can learn all the, the goals related to the this course. Course requirement I mentioned over here, you have to uh, achieve at least 80% attendance uh, during the semester. And the similar attendance is required uh, in the practical or the lab experiments. So this is the uh, conduct and uh, grading policy. Actually, I will follow the uh, absolute grading and throughout the semester. This is the breakup I have divided into the different uh, weeks. We have around 17 weeks and uh, uh, their bifurcation is given over here. I will start with the chemical kinetics and then we will discuss the physical states of the matter, the gases and the liquids and the solids. Later on, uh, we will move to the thermodynamics and uh, we will study the uh, general concepts about the thermodynamic system and the surroundings and the type of the thermodynamic system and uh, the first law of the thermo thermodynamics and related matter. So this is also connected with the thermochemistry. So uh, you will learn about the exon and the thermic reactions. And the lastly, uh, very briefly, we will discuss the uh, quantum chemistry and uh, some basic theories about the quantum mechanics of the quantum chemistry are included over here. So this is all about the uh, uh, bifurcation of the course. And I have already mentioned your schedule of the assessment. And, and let's suppose this is a quiz one, we'll be starting from the fourth week. Assignment one would uh, 
will be during the fifth week and then we have the Easter break, your midterm examination uh, will be uh, during the eighth week. Then you have this uh, uh, spring break and then you have the quiz two at the uh, 12th week and then the last one is assignment two or it may be the presentation that will be uh, arranged during the 14th week. And then you have the final examination at the 7th, 17th week. So books, some books are mentioned over here. I will give you the soft copy and the weightage of uh, the uh, your assessment is given over here. Quizzes will be the 10% assignment, will be the 10% midterm is 20%, final term is the 30% and your practical exam will be 25%. And your class participation is five percent. So you must have to be remain active during the class and uh, the grading as per uh, rules and regulation of the university are given over here different grades. And this is all about the course outline or the course description.